Well, we have one more question, Valery Viktorovich. Assessing one of the ongoing processes in Canada, how intelligently the so-called freedom convoy is going, and how ignorant Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada is. When you look at it all, you come to the conclusion that there is some kind of global governance going on here. Yes. Talking about global governance, is COVID a naturally arised issue, as many researchers say? Or is it something more? COVID as such is a governing maneuver. Yes, this disease exists. But it is not that dangerous to put the whole world upside down. But under the pretext of COVID, it becomes possible to solve very serious problems of reformatting the whole world, including the reform of the economy and the reform of the social governance of the states from the supranational level. On top of that, COVID makes it much easier to solve clannish corporate conflicts. Look at this. There was a problem in Iran at the top state management. But suddenly COVID came and all troublemakers went six feet under. Very peacefully. It's pandemic, after all. Let's sum up the COVID. The whole world was shaken up. The first stage, the testing of all social systems is over. Now a certain correction is taking place. In fact, this freedom convoy in Canada emerged with a little trifle in relation to the Western world. The answer to the question how intelligently that was done depends from a governance level that you are assessing it. From the higher level of actual governance it was done intelligently. From the lower level of uninitiated participants, such as Trudeau or the truckers, there is no governance at all. To get at the very least into this subject, take a look at an American movie called Convoy. From 1978, it has strong point. It is very hard to organize truckers to do anything. Well, because they are taking care of their business and they are very independent. Just watch this film and many things will become clear about Freedom Convoy. Suddenly, all of this happened in Canada. Wait a minute, it wasn't just in Canada. At the same time, as in Canada, the convoy organizing committees were announced all over Europe. The convoy organizing committees popped up all over the countries at once. The committees appeared as if by themselves. What did the truckers do? They moved into the cities, parked on the streets, and that was it. Tracking had come to a standstill. Logistical problems were mounting. How would, for example, an ambulance or a fire truck get through? There was a Soviet film in 1925, silent film Battleship Potemkin, that tells us a story about the strike. What was the first day of the strike like? The euphoria at first, days go by. After a while, strikers ran out of money. They couldn't afford to buy food, problems piled up. But here in Canada, they won't even be a place to buy food. In other words, this strike is pointless. It will die out by itself. Lives go on. The pressure of reality will force strikers to leave. 
Trudeau is expecting exactly that. But what is really happening? The bridge between the United States and Canada is blocked. The whole freight traffic is halted. What is a backdrop to all this? The United West and the United States are getting ready to unleash a full-scale war in Europe. Small detail, the Freedom Convoys are announced all over the world, including the United States. There are Freedom Convoys in France, in the Netherlands, in Austria and other countries. I named the countries where there had already been significant protests. No country in the world can threaten another country, not to mention a war, when this country itself is in economic collapse. 70% of cargo transportation in the United States is done by trucks. What is being presented to the US country elite? From what level is it being presented? Yes, they have failed to deal with a lot of issues. Yes, they are building up the crisis situation in Ukraine. But the globalists are not interested in this war. Their message to everybody, if you move forward, tomorrow you will all collapse. Convoys will pop up and you will simply have no food supply chain in the country. You will finish up eating the food you have, but after that you will not be able to buy anything. This is a message with this Freedom Convoy, starting with Canada for now, but the statement is very strong. No one wants a war except for the United States country elite. They are squabbling amongst themselves, the clans are fighting with each other. They urgently need to gobble someone up, so that they can make peace. Just like they were gobbling up the Soviet Union back then, gobbling up Eastern Europe. And then they had enough food for everyone, they didn't fight among themselves. Now they're at each other's throats. The US country needs a war, but economic collapse is on the horizon. By the way, they tried to organize the same thing for us in 1998, when the dispossessed and completely disadvantaged people were brought out on the rails. They wanted to ensure that the country would collapse, but this didn't correlate with the global predictor's plans, because the global government understood that if Russia collapsed, then everything else would fall down like dominoes. That was the US country elite who wanted this big catastrophe so that everything would collapse in Russia and then they would come and loot everything. But the globalists understood much more. So what happened? They put Kiryenko in charge and he solved this problem. All these Uncle Sam's lackeys began to have their own problems, so all the people left the rails and began to solve their own problems of survival. If the US would have pushed a little bit more, then Russia would have collapsed into such an immense catastrophe that the whole world would fall down as well. So this is exactly what is happening now. The globalists are presenting to the United States if you won't start talking to Russia. It was China that said Russia's demands for security guarantees are appropriate and must be met. Why is China's opinion important here? It is the upcoming center of concentration of global governance, and many things are already being announced from China. Surely, everyone has noticed by now, China said, the world has done it. So this is the global predictor's message to all these minions that follow the US country lead. Russia must be provided with the security guarantees. Otherwise, your countries will collapse. Convoys have already been launched in certain countries to make you more amenable. But this is very brief. The subject is huge. 
there is a lot to talk about supranational governance here. It took altogether more than one hour of 40 minutes today. This is all for today. Well, I only have to say goodbye and to remind you that we do not understand many things not because our notions are weak, but because these things are beyond the scope of our notions. In our complex world, when a very serious governing maneuver is happening regarding the reformation of the whole world for the purpose of, of restructuring of the interstate unions and the states themselves, the internal predictor of the USSR gave us the theory that is necessary to understand these processes. There is a book in public access which exactly describes all these processes. Read it, become conceptually empowered, understand the processes that are going on around you, protect the interests of yourselves and your children.